right, welcome back. So for this episode, we're going to look at this box of whistling artillery shell. Now this is the artillery shell that actually came out of the two for show assortment pack, which again, you can find assortments that have a lot of different um, artillery shells in them. So we're just going to look at it, cool looking little box, see if there's any manufacturer descriptors on it. Uh, we know it's a six piece, we know it's whistling. Of course, you got our warning label, how to. Let me get back to our warning label. Okay. So, open up the box. So, it doesn't look like there's any type of manufacturer specifics on it. So, in it, we've got one cardboard tube. It's pretty sturdy. Again, hold on to your tubes. Okay, okay, you can see how the general overall shells will fit into this tube. So it's a little bit bigger than the previous one that we looked at, which is which is good. So you can use different types different types of shells in the same tubes. But you know, and this one's a little bit different because of the way the, the fuse is. Um, if you want to again hold on to your tubes. If you haven't checked out our uh, poor man rack how to videos, you're gonna want to definitely do that. You get a lot of use out of these tubes. If you think about it, you've already paid for them. So within the box, you've got your, your, your typical warning label. And of course, you got your little sleeve of ball shells. Again, much like most of the other ball shells, there are no, no descriptive performance on them so it's really kind of hard to know what they do but again you check out some of our other videos you can make some really cool individualized creative effects using these things and again you, if you buy a, a, a family pack you're gonna get quite a few of them so the great little additional pieces um, to add to your show. So this guy can just tell it's just your typical standard ball shell. Okay. And just uh, for comparison purposes, just gotta kind of match it up with uh, one of the other cardboard tubes. Again, when you're doing it on our poor man's rack, you can either screw them down. You I mean, there's not really going to be necessity to do so. You definitely do have the option. When the tube starts to wear out, then you can just toss the tube. But as you can tell, you got a couple of different size cardboard tubes. So you got a big on the left, which is our previous artillery shell review and of course then I will do the same thing I'll, I call brown bagging it I see a little bit thicker wall cardboard construction both have about the same the same type of base on them and of course then there's an, another tube that it has been brown bagged and, you know the same larger shell that I demonstrated you know will fit in the right tube so So I say it's really, really important to hold on to your tubes. Okay. So again, this is a whistling artillery shell. Six pack that came with the two for show assortment pack. And we thank you for watching the V3 Pyrotechnic Designs. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. That refers to your friends and family for your, your firework ideas. And be sure to check out our how-to videos. The kind of idea how you can build those racks with those tubes. So again, thank you for watching and be safe.